Okay, it's working now. Welcome to our new village. Let's practice moving around. Moving the mouse to the edge of the screen will move you in that direction. Alternatively, use the W, A, S and D keys. You can change the camera angle. But the first step in establishing our new village is to place a supply wagon. Valid construction sites are indicated when the building is green. Red indicates a building cannot be placed in its current position. Objects blocking construction will be highlighted in red, while resources that will be lost are highlighted in yellow. To rotate a building while in construction mode? Good. Our villagers will need something to eat. Foraging for berries is a great place to start. Drag a selection rectangle over all our peasants and move yes, the mouse pointer to a nearby red berry bush. Right On my away. way! The mouse cursor changes when over berry bushes, trees, iron deposits and small piles of rock to indicate they can be harvested. Right click on a berry bush to command our peasants to begin foraging. working now. <laughs> Before we can construct our first building, we're going to need more planks. With one or more peasants selected, right-click on a nearby tree to command them to start chopping. Okay. Peasants will carry logs back to the supply wagon where they are converted into planks and firewood. We'll need 25 planks to construct a woodcutter's hut. Our current store of planks is shown on the top bar.
Only thing that I have to do is now wait for 25 wood on the phone. Peasants aren't the hardest workers, nor the smartest. Trained professions work faster and are able to carry more resources. With planks and firewood being critical during the early stages of a new village, we should train a woodcutter. We should train a woodcutter. Yes, I know. I'm doing that. Construction completed. Right there, darling. To place a woodcutter's hut, click on the construction options in the middle of the top bar. Select Woodcutter hut should be built close to clusters of trees. When deciding where our hut is to be built, moving the mouse cursor with the hut attached will show nearby resources within the building's boundary. Resources just outside the boundary are semi-transparent and will not be available for clearing until we later upgrade the building. Our villagers will set to work hammering and sawing as soon as they finish their current task. Alternatively, current tasks can be reassigned by selecting peasants and right-clicking on the construction site. Train two woodcutters by selecting our peasants, clicking on the woodcutter's hut to select it, and clicking the train woodcutter button. Our peasants will run to the hut to begin. You must always keep at least one untrained peasant for delivering firewood to cottages and constructing new buildings. Woodcutters will head for the nearest tree and start chopping, carrying logs back to the woodcutter's hut to be sawn into planks and firewood. Firewood is consumed by cottages to keep villagers warm, and each cottage provides a home for five villagers. To expand our population, build two new cottages. I've purchased additional supplies to help. I've got to save my part, my banner. Okay. I saved it as a JPEG, but building completed.
new villagers have arrived. Superb! With our first cottages complete, villagers now have somewhere warm to sleep at night. When our current population is below the maximum capacity and villagers are happy, new settlers will arrive. Peasants will carry firewood from the nearest supply point and automatically top up firewood stores when each cottage runs out. Villagers need something more substantial than berries to eat. Fish are a great source of food and meet the need for protein as part of a balanced villager diet. Fishing huts need to be built on land near fishing points located along rivers. When placing a fishing hut, move the mouse pointer along the riverbank until you find one or more fishing points. It's a good idea to construct resource buildings close to the source to reduce the distance workers have to travel. Place a building too far away and our workers will remain idle. Building, building, building. Our village has attracted new settlers. A building has been constructed. Busy, busy, busy. Okay. We should construct a windmill and plant wheat fields that can be harvested and milled into flour by the farmer profession. Settlers have arrived looking for a fresh start. Not enough planks. Not enough planks, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Building completed. On my way. While our villagers hammer and saw, place three fields next to the windmill. By default, fields are set to grow wheat. The closer resources are to buildings, the less time villagers will spend transporting goods and the more productive they can be. Fields can grow different crops. Carrots provide villagers with vegetables as part of a balanced diet. Change one of the fields to grow carrots by selecting a field and clicking on carrots in the pop-up options. Construction completed. Wheat takes a while to grow, giving us time to construct a bakery. Bakeries mix flour from the windmill with water from a well to bake it. The bakery can be found under the Advanced Buildings Construction Options category. Finished goods are made by combining a number of resources to produce consumable goods ready for consumption.
fancy sandals. Bakeries okay. require water. Building a well close to the windmill will enable villagers to pump water to ensure a steady supply. Wells are also important in firefighting, brewing and potion making. I've taken the liberty of purchasing a few sacks of flour and pumped a few buckets of water to save time, adding them to our inventory. To view what's in our inventory, click the bag button on the top bar or press I on the keyboard. Everything we produce, craft or find can be found in our inventory. It's accessible at any time from anywhere. As our inventory fills up, you can filter items using the icons toward the bottom of the dialog. When you're ready, close the inventory by either clicking the close button at the top right of the dialog or pressing the I key again on the keyboard. As villagers become hungry, they'll get bread from the nearest storehouse or bakery. Eating bread satisfies their need for carbohydrates. To remain healthy, villagers need a balanced diet including protein, which can be found in fish and meat pies, vegetables which can be grown in fields, and carbohydrate from bread and berries. We'll soon be needing more peasants to train as workers. Build another cottage so we can start attracting new settlers. We should build a hunting lodge and train a hunter to begin stalking deer for meat and leather hides. Building completed. New villagers have arrived. Really? All right, dear. Construction completed. Busy, busy, busy. To complete the economy chain, we need to build a butchery and train a butcher who will collect raw meat from the storehouse or hunting lodge and produce tasty meat pies to fill villagers' bellies. The butchery can be found under the advanced building's construction options next to the bakery. New settlers have arrived. Our village has attracted new settlers. A building has been constructed. Our town is under attack. Engage! They shall not pass! 
Pass! Settlers have arrived looking for a fresh start. received. What now? Ta-ta! Huh? My pleasure. Hmm... Hmm... Really? What now? How can I help? Be right there, darling. Something to do? Busy, busy, busy. Blacksmiths and stonecutters work in a similar way to woodcutters, clearing land of iron ore deposits and stone, or working in sustainable iron mines and quarries. There's an iron mine close to our village, but it looks like a pesky band of cobalt scavengers have made camp there. We'll have to deal with them first before Two we can stake our claim to the mine. Select several villagers and then right-click on one of the kobolds to begin the attack. And so to battle! Who wants some? Our village has attracted new settlers. Ta-ta! Construction completed. Okay. All right, dear. Be right there, darling. Building completed. Okay. On my way. My pleasure. On my way. Really? New settlers have arrived. Right away. We can't train any more specialists here just now. Busy, busy, busy. Okay. Settlers have arrived looking for a fresh start. Ta-ta. Training this person will leave you without any peasants. New villagers have arrived. My pleasure.
With the kobolds dead, you can loot their corpses by right-clicking on the sparkling bodies. Clicking loot all will transfer everything from the corpses into our inventory. We can use iron ingots and other resources to craft equipment for our villagers. But first, we must learn how through research. Click on the blacksmith, open the building dialog, and click the research tab on the left. Now I found out why it was not working. What the hell? Most buildings can unlock research specific to their profession. The blacksmith can learn to make weapons and armor, as well as special techniques such as hardening to make items more effective. We should research leatherworking to unlock leather armor crafting recipes. Leatherworking requires gold to fund research and for our village to have achieved a certain culture level indicated by the culture score on the top bar. Culture can be increased by expanding our village, completing quests and finding epic items. The enemy is in our village. By your leave. Settlers have arrived looking for a fresh start. Come to daddy! Ready to serve! Our village has attracted new settlers. On my way. Okay. Ow, blasted splinters. Once we've met the requirements, click on the plus button next to leatherworking to begin researching. Previously unlocked research is shown. Open the blacksmith's building dialog and click the production tab on the left. Learning leatherworking unlocked four common crafting recipes. Items vary by quality, common, uncommon, rare, and epic. To begin with, we're able to craft leather boots, tunics, gloves, and caps. Open the blacksmith's building dialog, click the crafting tab, then click leather boots in the left column. Each crafting recipe requires a number of ingredients, shown at the top right of the dialogue. Leather items require firewood from the woodcutter's hut to fuel the furnace, and leather hides produced by the hunting lodge. Training this person will leave you without any peasants. Workers assigned to buildings are capable of two tasks 
production and research. When a building is first constructed, all worker effort is directed into production, maximizing the output of resources and finished goods. When research is underway, we can divert worker effort away from production and into research by clicking the down arrow. With some effort now going into research, each time a worker completes a task, such as delivering resources to the building, progress is made towards completing the research. We also have the option to incentivize workers to work harder for a short period of time by rewarding them with gold or by lashing them. Lashing produces a greater effect, but with the... You can equip leather boots onto a character by selecting them, clicking on the bag icon on their portrait wheel, or pressing C to open the character sheet, opening the inventory by clicking on the bag button on the top bar, or pressing I, and dragging the boots onto their character. You can also right-click on the boots to auto-equip them. Villagers are packing their bags and leaving. Villagers are walking around in shabby clothes. It's high time we made them some new ones, starting by growing cotton. New settlers have arrived. New villagers have arrived. A building has been constructed. Really? Building completed. Construction completed. Another villager has abandoned our town. Settlers have arrived looking for a fresh start. Marauders are ransacking our village. Crops be so. For honor and glory. Villagers are packing their bags and leaving. A building has been constructed. Construction completed. Building completed.
our village has attracted new settlers. New villagers have arrived. Right away. Okay. New settlers have arrived. Ta -ta. Our village is under attack. Our village has attracted new settlers. Today, you die horribly. My pleasure. A building has been constructed. What now? Yes, Petal. Our coffers could use a little extra coin. We can change the tax rate by opening the civics dialogue on the top bar. The Needs tab provides an overview of villager needs, while the Management tab provides control over taxation. Taxes are levied on residents of cottages and collected every 30 seconds. You are now equipped with the skills you need to lead our village to greatness. There are more buildings and professions to discover and a whole world to explore. Before venturing out, you might want to consider building a barracks and training some military. Good luck. Another villager has abandoned our town.
Not enough ingredients. We need to collect more ingredients. Villagers are leaving. What would you have me do? Villagers are packing their bags and leaving. Another villager has abandoned our town. Training this person will leave you without any peasants. Oh. 
Okay. Villagers are leaving. Turning off the stream now. I learned enough from the tutorial. 